Alright guys, as you can see from the previous introduction video, I'm going to do a review on this 360 dash cam. Uh, I've been doing a lot of runs and I got this big project going on and I've been utilizing my GoPro, but I want you guys to kind of see every angle and I'm really used from my Tesla being able to see every angle and I got really accustomed to that to where I like to know what's going on at all times. I thought this was a cool camera that I can utilize being that it gives four different angles. So I'm going to go ahead and install it in a vehicle and just do a review. And you guys can tell me what you think. It's called the, I guess, Hoopay Joss, a Hoop Joss, a V7 360 dash cam. As you can see, it comes with the main one. And these are going to be the two that goes on the side. And this is going to be the rear. So we're going to go ahead and get this installed in the vehicle. And we're going to make it rock and roll. Uh, it comes with the camera. It comes with the rear view. It also comes with these uh, wire clips right here. And this is just so you can just kind of reroute the wiring as you're going along. It also comes with a free um, M1 as well in case you don't want to use the suction cup. And this is just so you can just put this on there to be able to mount the actual uh, camera. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and go to the car. All right, as you guys can see, I currently have it installed in my vehicle. Uh, these are going to be the side ones and this is going to be the main one and this is what I was talking about when I said you can 3M it as well. I'm going to hook it up to the cigarette lighter right now as you can see right down there. However, you can see I'm already set up hardwired for the actual hardwiring of it. That way I don't have to use this 
and I can just use this, but I'm just gonna tuck these in for right now until I get it um, ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, so this is gonna be the one that's gonna go on the back. This is gonna go on the back and this is gonna plug into the top of the actual dash cam right over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, just for the sake of it, I'm just hooking this up with the wires looking crazy, but I'm gonna run all the wires and hide it real good. This is more of a demonstration just to kind of show you guys um, how this works. So far, so good. Okay, guys, as you can see, I have the one at the back. You can see it through the reflection right there. I have the one at the back. And also I have this one set up. So you can kind of see it right there. So it gives me all of the side angles and I'm going to show you on my phone because the cool thing about this app is you can actually or rather the cool thing about this camera you can actually sit on your phone and it looks a lot much better on the phone this is connected to my phone so what that means is I'll be able to review live data and be able to download files straight to my phone so this will give me a bird's eye of what's going on in my vehicle at all times so like I said, guys, I'm getting ready to do just like a little run so you guys can see how it works. This is the uh, new 360 camera and I um, think it's a, a great buy thus far. Um, so let's go ahead and do a test and tell me guys what you think. All right, guys, so right here, I'm just pretty much giving you guys an example of the different views that you can have. As you can see, that was the right side, driver's side. Uh, the app is very intuitive, pretty simple. It lets you look at everything on demand, and you can just kind of switch it up. And once you are looking at the app, it's a lot clearer. You can literally see letters and license plates. Uh, you can scroll through, save data, download data. You can send it to your phone, share it with a person. If you got a friend or video of you, just ultimately trying to make sure that you're a safe driver. Like I said previously from, you know, owning a Tesla, um, I got really comfortable with being able to see the different views. And it's a really great safety feature that I think a lot of people should really focus on. You can uh, also uh, save certain files and categories for emergency if you're if someone is chasing you or if you have a flat tire if someone hit your vehicle so yeah i'm just kind of scrolling through just showing you how the files are saved you can change the files to blocks of a second a minute whatever floats your boat but yeah just want to show you guys this i appreciate all the love and support make sure you like and subscribe for my um, builds and all of the great things that i have for the channel this is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Peace, I'm out.